G'day reefers and happy new year. I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Welcome to Gallery Aquatica TV for 2023. So we have a massive year planned for Gallery Aquatica TV. We've got some really big projects that we're going to bring to you and we've got some really exciting new products that we want to show you. And to start the year, we've got one of the most exciting new products that we've had a chance to look at. It's the Reef Factory Smart Roller. We've really been loving a lot of the Reef Factory products lately, and we've installed a few different Reef Factory uh, devices on the Salisbury display tank. We'll be showing you these in future episodes. We really like the app and just the intuitive nature of the devices. So I'm really excited to see the Smart Roller. Now we have looked at other filter rollers in the past and certain aspects of filter rollers are really important to know if they're gonna be suitable for your tank. Uh, we can be very confident in the app based on other Reef Factory products. Uh, I'm sure that they're going to do the job, but the only thing is we need to look at exactly how you couple the tank onto the filter roller. Uh, we also need to just look at basically if it's going to fit and these sorts of things. So we're going to do an unboxing today on the Smart Roller and have a look at it and really sort of suss out exactly what sort of a filter roller this is. Here we go. Uh, we have our smart roller out of the box and it's, uh, it, it's really quite interesting. And uh, first of all, the, the, the first thing I, I saw when I opened up the box was happily some instructions. And it, it's certainly a, a complaint that a lot of people make about other products that, that they don't have adequate instructions and you have to look them up and it can be a bit frustrating. So I'm really happy to see that because I haven't put these together and there is some assembly as you can see. The, the next thing I noticed was when I pulled out the actual roll, it's incredibly wide and of course that correlates with a wide unit. And uh, I think that this is something that we'll really see as a feature of, of this uh, product. And the, the nature of the, the wide filter roll potentially is going to be able to capture more waste before it has to continue to roll on. Now the next thing we've got, what I'm assuming is our power supply. It's not too interesting there. But uh, the next thing after that was what I'm guessing is the motor to roll on the, to move on the filter roll. But this is what is actually interest me the most. The sensor, as I see it, is a little float sensor. And that's an interesting thing because most of the other filter rollers on the market have got optical sensors. And we do uh, talk to people about problems with the filters not rolling on, um, sometimes because of the sensor. So having a float sensor potentially is something that's really gonna set this product apart from others on the market. The other thing which sets it apart is this beautiful uh, body of the, the, the system. It, it's really uh, a, a nice looking piece of equipment. And um, it's also, there's some really fine details on this which I, I really love. And one of those things is it does actually have a little diagram that shows you how the filter rolls on in through the unit. And uh, I, I think that's a great idea. I love the little fish in the, the yellow uh, acrylic here. And it's just a nice solid piece of equipment. So I'm really excited to set this up. Um, we've got the instructions as I said, so it should be quite easy. Um, I'm gonna give it a go. Well, 
here we go. We've finished putting together our smart roller. And as I said before, it is a really beautiful piece of kit. And it was relatively easy to put together. Uh, there's definitely filter rollers on the market which are more difficult to put together than this. So it did kind of make sense when it came together. I also think that the roll was particularly easy to um, put into the roller. That's one of the, the, the things I really look for with a filter roller to ensure that it's easy to reload a new roll. Um, but uh, there's not really too much to it. We've got the float valve that we mentioned before, which is inside just down here. You can't quite see it. Um, there's a couple of options with how you can mount these in your filter. So I've gone for the option of hanging on the side and um, you'll see in the future exactly why I've gone this way. The alternative is to use these as little feet on the bottom to raise it up a bit so it can just freestand. But uh, I have an idea of the, as to exactly how I'm going to use this and having it hang on the side uh, is going to be perfect. We've got our little motor in here and you can see when you press the button that manually rolls on the filter roll. Um, it's uh, certainly a, a very nice filter roller and uh, interestingly uh, the intake for the water coming down from your tank into the sump is a 40 mil San King which uh, I think is a, a metric standard and that's the same as the water box LX drainage, which is what we're going to put this filter roller onto. Um, so it'll be very easy just with a couple of elbows of uh, Sand King plumbing, which we will uh, uh, buy soon to put this in. But um, that's it. It's a, a very nice looking filter roller and I'm very impressed with this piece of equipment. Now, let me show you exactly where I'm gonna put this filter roller. So this is the Salisbury Reef display tank and it actually has the perfect position for our smart roller and it's this section here. It's where the water first flows into the sump and it's going to be very easy as I mentioned before the drainage uh, line on this is actually 40 mil so we'll be able to go straight from the main drain uh, with the gate valve straight into our smart roller and the smart roller will fit in here very nicely. We'll have to pull out the filter sock holder, um, but we'll mount it sitting on this glass baffle. We'll have our motor facing out, our plumbing towards the back, and it's going to be absolutely perfect. So that's it for our unboxing of the Smart Roller. And isn't it a beautiful piece of equipment? I really can't wait to put it on the Salisbury Reef display tank, but we'll bring you that in a future episode of Gallery Aquatica TV. But that's it for today. So thank you so much for watching. I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Happy reefing. That's it for this week's episode of Gallery Aquatica TV. Don't forget to like and comment on all our videos and subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned to Gallery Aquatica TV for more exciting episodes to come. I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Happy reefing. <laughs>